everyone. So as per our student request, we are continuing the slab. And here, if you see, we have the WLC controller. We have the access point here. So once we type this IP of the WLC controller, we get the login panel here. We need to create the account in this one. And we are going to do that one. So here, uh, let me give any name here. I will give admin and then password. We can use anything. I'm using ABC at the rate one, two, three, four, five, anything we can use, whatever the password you need. Okay. I am using this one. And when, once I log in, you can see here system name. We need to give, you can give any system name. I will give network for you. And this is the time. Everything is there optional. And this is a management IP. So whatever IP we use, example, we use here one dot three, put that one, put the subnet mask two five five dot two five five dot zero. And the gateway we are using one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one and VLAN we are using only one. So keep one here and click next. After that here, what you want to give the SSID example, if you want to give the SSID is also ABC or network, anything network for you. This is a Wi-Fi name I want to give. So I will give that one and password define here. Like example password I will give capital A, B, C at the rate one, two, three, four, five. I will write here capital A, B, C at the rate one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And this one is uh, we cannot change. Keep like this and press next. And this is a default one. Keep next. So if you see this is a detail, whatever we configure here. So everything came here. Just you can understand here. This is admin name. We give this is the network for you. This is the system name is network for you. And this is the India time and the IP, whatever the management IP management subnet mass and management gateway. And they are in which VLAN and we are using WPA2 personal and we are using the password here. And this is a virtual IP. Just click apply and it will reload. Controller will reload. We need to wait for some time. WLC controller we are saying it is going to reload. We need to wait for some time after that. What we can do, we can log in again. Okay. So if you want to log in again, same thing, you need to write HTTP, but here you will write HTTP as port 443 here, single S and remaining IP, everything remains same and press enter. So still it is loading. You need to wait for some time after that. We can put the same like this. Okay. In the browser, just we will write https colon okay if you see it is loaded and now when i click this one you have the login page again click here and login whatever the username we use whatever the account we created you need to put the detail here to log in that one okay and click here enter after some time you will get in the what we can say inside and you can see in inside this is a monitoring tab in this one you can say 20 access points supported 25 access points supported so this is a controller who is going to support 25 access point if you connect 25 access point it will work if you connect more than that one it will not work and this is a controller whatever the management ip you give what software version currently present that will show you here and what the system name from how much time the system is up what is today date time and the what is our inside temperature and how many access point you have here only one access point and you have any clients it will show you that one if you want the detail click detail it will show you how many access point you have only one access point and the access point is having the ip 192.168.1.12 .1 okay and if you need here like uh, go wl wlan so you will see whatever the ssid so this is the ssid is present here and we have the password here network for you SSID is present and password is enabled here. Okay. So if you want to create some more also, you can create more example. I want to create like one more, maybe without password. So we can create that one also, but anyhow, let me show you now. This is access point. If you keep your mouse there, you are getting the IP 192.168.1.2 well slash 24 and it is connected to WLC controller cap web tunnel connected to 192 to 1.3. 1.3 is nothing but controller IP address. It is connected to the controller. And what else you can see, you can take the wireless devices here and you can check. This is a tablet here. Okay. And you can check with the tablet and uh, what detail you have here. Example here, you can see SSID is showing NFY provided WLAN NFI network for you. You can see here. NFY. So you need to type that one. So I will go here. You can go to config wireless zero and here 
I will cut this. I will write here N network for you and password we use the WPA PSK. Here whatever password you use you can use here and put that password and close after some time this uh, device will connect to the access point and he will get the IP here. If you see this device uh, is getting the IP 192.168.1.17 you can see here this device get the IP 192.168.1.17 and it is connected to the gateway 192.168.1.1 and he can ping example you have this computer here 1.11 you have and here what IP you have here you have IP as 1.17 so if this guy want to talk with this guy they can talk to each other you can write here ping 192.168.1.17 or what is the IP here let me check again you can keep your mouse there 1.17 so I will write here 1.17 ping and see replies coming so this wireless device is communicating with this one okay and if you want to create one more uh, SSID SSID we are saying SSID is nothing but wireless Wi-Fi name so if you see network for you you can see wireless name here now I will create something default because by default in your device what name you have here you can see this is this name is there without password so I can create with this name without password so all the devices whatever is present here they can connect automatically without putting any password like example in your company you have some guest VLAN and you did not give any username anything automatically whatever the mobile or the laptop or the wireless devices is there they are going to connect that one so how we need to do so that network engineer will again log into the controller okay and here he will create the new uh, what we can say new SSID so once you click here you will get this law page you need to put the profile name I can put default and the SSID also I am putting default and apply here okay so automatically uh, it will create when you apply but this in packet tracer it will be taking some time you need to wait after you created you need to enable here go here and click here enable and apply so this will be apply so after applying you will get here two like before you are getting only one right now you will get two if you see here this side you are getting two here one is a network for you and another is a default default is not having any password so automatically all the devices without password is connected because I give the name default without password so all are connected and this one which one is not connected here let's see this one what we have here setting let's go here and check this one is a network for you so this one also going to connect network for you because here we give the network for you and the password is that one so this will also connect after some time this one is a free one means uh, without any user password so this one connected and here how many devices one two three four so there is a limitation also like uh, some devices access point can support up to 10 devices up to 50 devices like that so what I will do this device let me change here something different why because this device should be disconnect so this device is connecting or not I need to check because I don't know how many uh, what we can say client this access point can support so let's see here this device should connect here why it is not connecting we can check again here the network for you and this is the access point uh, this is a password we keep let me remove and put again and close so this should connect which device this one this one only right so we should get here and here if you want to enable the security password you can go here security layer 2 you can enable this one and you can go here and enable the password which one you want to enable if you enable this all automatically will be disconnected whatever the password you give example I am giving capital A small b c at the rate 12345 and then you will apply let me make this big apply so automatically it will lose whoever is connected and after that it will disconnect see it is disconnected because I put the password now before so it, this one is connected this one is which one 
you can see or open this and check here this one is the network network for you so network for you is connected remaining all is not connected why because before we have no password but now i created the password if you see here in the controller what i done i go here i go to security i enable the uh, this one encryption and i put this password so that's why this device is not having any password here if you go here and go to the wireless you can see here we don't have any password authentication is disabled if i put this password it will connect again this i put the password here right so this will connect here same thing if i go here and put the password they will connect let me go and put the password here this device will connect after some time this device will connect also see and if you put the mouse this device get ip 192.168.1.50 this device get the ip 1.42 okay so i hope you understand this one and if you need more lab write in the comments and we can do here like we can do some configuration so you can access the internet this all guys can access the internet okay we need to configure here default route towards the isp we need to configure the pad so if you need that lab also let me know write in the comments and like our facebook page join our telegram channel we are sharing this topology there okay thank you